Evening guys, as I said on my last YouTube, I was like, I've not got any inspiration, I'm running a little bit dry on the old ideas, I've not bought anything recently, and that's pretty much the same in this YouTube video, you haven't missed much. Obviously, I, this is going to be a little bit of a catch up video, I think. Um, so, back in the flat, I've actually had quite a busy day today. Um, so, a bit of a nightmare, basically I wanted this light, this light is like a must for my YouTube videos, to make, to make this look acceptable, um, but I left it at work, what a nightmare, I had all the bits and pieces but I forgot the bulb, so I just had to hop back to work there to get the bulb on my day off. There's nothing worse than going into work on your day off when you're not supposed to be there, even for like five seconds, it is the worst. Anyway, I'm recording this on Friday, I have literally just got in and I am gasping for a pint. The plan is when Chloe comes back we're going to head round to Yes, which is literally just around the corner. Yes, yes. I've been texting her going, are we going to go for a pint tonight? Yes. She's like, well we're going to go for a pint. I was like, it's it's the classic yes joke. She never gets it. Uh, she's now annoyed, but nevertheless, we're heading to Yes. Great. Um, I've been to my mate's salon today to take a couple of photographs. Um, for little bits and pieces. Caught on a little bit of my work, so I've been doing some really, really cool films. Hopefully this will transpire into something. And hopefully you'll get to see them soon as well. Um, but I'm keeping it on a little bit of a down low. Um, so that took all this morning, but I had a nice little morning. Classic little Friday off. Really, really good. Someone's just turned on the light and they're definitely just staring at the window looking at me, but nevertheless. This is what I hate about this YouTube like here, it was alright there because it was like in the midst, like the plants were there, blah blah blah, now I'm like full on with the neighbours, so basically if they're open the window, they, they get this YouTube live, I mean come on, what more do you want, you know what I mean, um, but, did that, did videos, went to Rich's, all good, this is when I record my YouTube, sometimes on a Friday, obviously I missed last week, I went home, it was really, really good to go home. I've been going home a lot recently. Oh, I just hate doing this in front of this guy. He probably thinks I'm an absolute idiot, but... Ah! Right, never mind, never mind. See, see, look, look what you're making me do. You're making me sweat. Um, he's turning the light off. It's all good. Uh, yeah, went home last weekend, so that was, that was cool. And I had a catch up with friends. I had my two friends, James and Paul, come down to Manchester. We had a wild one on, it was last Friday. Uh, so this time last Friday, I was with them. It was really, really good to see them. They've been friends of mine for ages. They're always back in Newcastle. So I've always said, come down, stay at mine, and let's have a really, really good night out. All those things were done last Friday, which was pretty good. I'm actually heading back home next weekend. So this is definitely like next weekend, there's probably, there ain't gonna be any YouTube, there ain't gonna be any blog. Next weekend, is penned down in the diary from like the previous year. It is the lad social event of the year, the Ashbrook Beer Festival. So it is that time, we didn't think it was gonna come. Obviously the summer, it normally is in the summer. It wasn't in the summer. We were like, what is going on? I think one night we were pissed and we went back, it was Christmas time. And I remember my mate leaning across the barn going, excuse me mate, when, when's, when's the beer festival on? Like literally we are, we're always there every single year and this year is not going to be any different. So it is next weekend. I am very, very excited, as you can probably tell. Um, so yeah, there ain't going to be a YouTube next weekend. You'll probably be seeing me on Instagram getting more and more drunk, putting up some horrendous stories. I bet you, bet you're excited for that. Um, but yeah, sitting on the couch, nice little day, really, just chilling. This is where I do all my work as well. So this is what I've been doing today. And pints tonight, next weekend beer festival. I am gonna do I am gonna do that wardrobe special like uh, cause Chloe, uh, my girlfriend, if you don't know, she's got her own YouTube and she's been acing it. She's like had like rails out here, she's obviously been using the coolest base, which is obviously this one. Um but yeah, she's done like a wardrobe talk through, she buys vintage stuff. But um she sort of like spurred me on to do that wardrobe thing. Um Hopefully tonight, this is what I've been doing. The only thing I have to talk about, I don't think I've even brought in with me, it's down there, give me two seconds. The only thing, the only thing I have to talk about, which obviously I have right here, is this belt. Um, I posted this, like a little story about this belt when I actually found it, but um, I've not had any photos in it, and I think since my I don't know, it's basically since I've not got that much money at the minute, I think that's why 
I've not had any new clothes. I've not found, like, I've not been looking on websites. I've just been buying the very, very occasional, as you can see, one pound thing. So this cost me a quid, a pound. Um, it's epic. It is a find. You probably not normally get this for a pound, um, but you can tell times are times are seriously bad. Doing YouTube about a pound belt he's bought, but bear with me. Hang in there. It is cool. Um, so I got this. I saw it hanging. It was in a charity shop. Look at the end of that belt. That is the probably one of the coolest Western inspired belt ends I have ever seen. It also has these really, really cool, I think they are, give me two seconds, five cents, like old American five cents uh, sort of like coins on the outside of the belt. It goes right the way around the belt. It is amazing. It's leather. It's old. It's American. What more do you want? It's Western inspired. But it literally looks absolutely sick. So as soon as I saw this, as soon as I saw that like dagger triangled um, end of that belt, what's it called? End, the end of the belt, bit of metal. Obviously the buckle's really cool. But it was just like, I need that. I don't know how much it was. I went at the tail, didn't have any price on it. It was like a pound. I was like, I will pay a pound. Thank you very, very much. So charity shops is where it's at. Obviously the sofa was from a charity shop. This belt is from a charity shop, but at the end of the day, if I saw this on eBay, it would be like 50 quid, 60 quid, maybe even more, and I'd probably pay that um, if I had money. But yeah, a pound, unbelievable bargain, and that, I think I'm gonna stretch it to, that's what the blog post is gonna be about tonight across my blog. Not necessarily the belt, but maybe like charity shops, it's cool to shop there, it is good to shop there. CJ does all the secondhand thrift shop, vintage shop, vintage shops even, charity shop thing. It's super cool. So she's, she's like inspired me to like, I obviously would go in with her. I like getting little, not so much like items, but like little household knickknacks, not like loads of tat. But when you, when you go in 10, you're bound to find one thing in 10 charity shops, which is pretty cool. Um, this being one of them. So yeah, belt, this is the first clothing item or accessory I think I've ever bought from a charity shop. Um, but it's really cool, man. I mean, I don't know if the um, camera will focus in on these uh, five cents, all five cents American coins, but if it does, you're in for a treat. So it's got like a really cool Buffalo, it's got United States of America, five cents. Is it a Buffalo or is it a, yeah, I think it'll be a Buffalo, yeah. But yeah, really cool. So hopefully I'm gonna get some sick images in this Western inspired belt. So I'm thinking leather, trousers, the Western belt, silver buckles, don't know what I'm gonna go on top. Probably jewelry's gonna be there. Probably that's gonna be there, because I mean, when is it not there? Um, but yeah, that's the belt. Little bit of a catch up. I promise you blog posts will be coming. But I think everyone goes through like these waves of like really inspired, got lots of money, let's buy some stuff. And then other times when it's uh, a little bit harder, you know? But obviously I didn't wanna miss YouTube. And it is pretty late now, because I was supposed to do this at like two in the afternoon. It is now like half five, quarter six, as you can see, it's quite, it's getting dark outside. What, I can't believe it, it's been raining, it's getting dark, like when I'm finishing work and I absolutely hate it. So that's another one where it's like, you know when you've, you've got all the summer and it's like, oh, you can go out, like have a good time, have a few drinks, like even obviously for me, I always do my photos after work and stuff. Uh, it is hard in the winter, it's a bloody nightmare to be honest. But stick it out um, and stick with it. So that's what I want to do. Um, I'm trying to think what else have I got. Even remarkable, uh, like, blah, interesting business. What have I got interesting to talk about? I don't think I've got anything, to be honest. It's uh, It's been pretty drab. That's, that's how I describe Manchester this week. Drab. Um, but yeah, if you want to subscribe to this, I mean, why would you? But come on, it's normally, it's normally quite good. Uh, thanks for um, sticking it out. Look at the belt. It's on the blog. Hopefully the photos will be good. Um, I think they'll be sick. And you'll see that post. And you'll see it today, obviously, because it's Sunday today. I'm recording on Friday. I'm going to go for a pint. I hope for, hopefully you enjoy your weekend as well and go for a couple of beers yourself. Cheers, and I'll see you not next week, but soon. Definitely soon. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>